The endocrine and neuroendocrine systems. Communication between the cells and tissues of the body is essential to maintain normal body functions. The complex systems responsible for this are the endocrine and neuroendocrine systems. The endocrine system is made up of endocrine cells concentrated in glands. These cells make and release hormones and peptides through a chemical messenger system, responding to a feedback loop for regulation. The neuroendocrine system is made up of neuroendocrine cells that are present within endocrine glands, but are also present more diffusely throughout the body. Neuroendocrine cells also make and release hormones and peptides through a chemical messenger system, but also in response to signals from the nervous system. Hormones and peptides target specific cells and tissues to influence behavior and function to maintain health. The endocrine system includes the hypothalamus, pineal gland, pituitary gland, thyroid gland, parathyroid glands, thymus, adrenal glands, pancreas, testes in men, the ovaries and placenta during pregnancy in women. Neuroendocrine cells can be found in the lungs and respiratory tract, thyroid, thymus, breast, gastrointestinal tract, mouth, esophagus, stomach, small bowel, large bowel, rectum and anus, appendix, pancreas, liver, adrenal glands, ovaries, testes, prostate, skin, and many other sites. The substances secreted by both endocrine and neuroendocrine cells can be classified into four key types. Proteins, for example, insulin produced in the pancreas. Peptides, for example, antidiuretic hormone produced in the hypothalamus. Glucoproteins, for example, follicle-stimulating hormone produced in the ovary. Amino acid derivatives, for example, thyroxine produced by the thyroid gland and adrenaline produced by the adrenal gland. They work by stimulating specific cells into action. These are called target cells. Target cells have receptors for specific hormones. These target cells may be within endocrine glands, stimulating further hormone production or other parts of the body, triggering other actions. Certain hormones, such as cortisol, testosterone and estrogen, are primarily associated with endocrine glands and usually lock onto receptors within a cell, which may delay triggering the required action. Others, such as many of the gut hormones, are more commonly associated with neuroendocrine cells and usually lock onto receptors on the surface of a cell. This results in a triggered action that can occur quite quickly. In health, neuroendocrine cells have many functions, which include controlling how fast food moves through the GI tract, air and blood flow through the lungs, blood pressure and heart rate, amount of glucose in the blood, and bone and muscle development. When neuroendocrine cells undergo malignant transformation, they can develop into either neuroendocrine tumors or neuroendocrine carcinomas. The symptoms and bodily effects can be diverse depending on which cells are affected, how and if their secretory function is also altered. It is worth noting that although cell appearance and growth rate change, not all neuroendocrine cancers will have abnormal hormone production. In fact, less than 50% of all neuroendocrine cancers produce symptoms related to hypersecretion. In assessing patients, the rate of growth, grading, alongside the presence or absence of comorbidities must also be considered. The most common substances produced by neuroendocrine cells that may be hypersecreted in the neuroendocrine cancers include serotonin is synthesized from tryptophan, one of the eight essential amino acids obtained from food. About 90% is produced in the gut, where it helps to regulate gut function. The remainder produced in the central nervous system affects mood, appetite, and sleep. 
no blood-brain barrier crossover. Kinins, a polypeptides that influence vasodilation and smooth muscle contraction. Histamine is chemically similar to serotonin and adrenaline. It is normally present in low levels, playing a role in the immune response and contraction of smooth muscle tissues of the lungs, uterus, and stomach. Gastrin stimulates the stomach to release gastric acid, as well as growth of the stomach lining, and increases in the muscle contractions of the gut to aid digestion. It can also stimulate the gallbladder to empty bile and the pancreas to secrete enzymes. Insulin and glucagon is produced in the pancreas and has many effects, but mainly controls how the body stores and uses carbohydrates, helping to regulate blood glucose levels. Adrenaline and noradrenaline produced within the medulla of the adrenal gland and by ganglia within the head, chest and pelvic regions of the sympathetic nervous system. Together, they work to balance the fight or flight response in times of stress. So, we can see how healthy neuroendocrine cells contribute to maintaining homeostasis and normal body functions, and also how symptoms may occur in patients with neuroendocrine cancers.